there's our fist bump, and almost as if on cue, Pret, another Pithra, like I was saying. We are swamped with Pithras in New York City. All right, well, it's going to be Devin's time to see, to show his chops against Pithra. Should be interesting. So far, they're playing the that equal neutral. This is the this is the battle of transforming characters. I just realized, and both leaning on their extremely fast characters. Squirtle, the extremely fast rushdown character, and oh, all right, Squirtle's much too late to be uh, tumbled by down air down air up smash. Pret, going back to... Alright. So, from what I can see from Pret, he seems to be using Pyra specifically for advantage state. He will not play Pyra in neutral. And that's a bit. Seven takes first blood. Very nice. There's the kill from Pret! Almost like clockwork. Pithra's not as popular. I mean, they're relatively simple. Nice, guys. You having fun over there? All right, they're clearly having a lot of fun. Pithra is a real... I'm not going to say that they're an easy-to-use character, but compared to the other characters, they are relatively easy to use. Relatively straightforward to use. That's the better way of putting it. They're a low-maintenance character that is that are very strong. So I can see why they'd be popular. They're like Mark, but actually good. Yeah, I gave the two a try myself for a little bit when they first came out, and they are very fun to use. They're straightforward, everything comes out very buttery smooth, even when you're playing as Pyra. Everything feels right when you play as this character. And on top of that, they're an extremely good character, so I can see why they're popular. That was a good high recovery. If he went low there, he definitely would have died to Devin's down airs. Alright, so you can see this Pret is refusing absolutely refusing to play Pyra in just in neutral. There's the downer! And game one goes to Devin. <laughs> Pokemon Everyone Let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? I'm not saying it's a bad idea to uh, play uh, only Mithra in neutral and never use Pyra. I'm just pointing it out. <laughs> Anyway, let's see what happened here. He comes down with a dare. Come, oh, he just he just went crazy. Devin's like, I gotta kill this mean girl. Yeah, that little razor leaf clip clinched it from. I think Pret thought he was out of the way, but Stop the battle. he was not. It's like, ah, yes, that will definitely not hit me. Oops. And then putting them right in Devin's clutches. Boom! Game two, ladies and gentlemen. Three, two, one, go! Devin up 1 0. But yeah, I think the uh, quote unquote weaknesses of Petra are kind of like understated things that don't necessarily directly impact gameplay. For example, like, the two biggest weaknesses they have are that they don't really have a good way to penetrate shields, and they can't really go off rag guards. And, you know, that can hurt, because it does, it, it does like, artificially extend the survivability of a lot of people fighting the character. 
And that made contact. Holy smokes. Pyro, you have so much range. <laughs> it can artificially extend, like, the survivability of your character when you're fighting Tessera, if you know what to do. But it's not something that's like, oh man, I feel really limited playing Tithra because sometimes it's hard to kill. Nah. I'll just keep winning neutral. That's what that's what players feel when they're fighting this character. Good timing attempt there from Devin. Just slightly missed it. And Fred is actually playing playing neutral with Pyro right now. I think he might be looking for an early kill to extend that lead. Will he switch back? Oh, good. And he can't reach. <laughs> he gets that revenge uh, blazing in, though. And instantly respawns and kills Devin. He's having a full stock down now. Let's see how he claps back on this. Squirtle's forward tilt unfortunately doesn't give him any true combos at the beginning of uh, percent. Oh man, Pret is bullying Devin right now. Oh my god. Raw forward smash missed times the uh, forward smash on Devin's leg stand. Uh, uh. Yo, spit on her! Another raw forward smash. I hope Pret isn't trying to rush things right now. Oh my goodness! That prominence revolt not striking home. Oh my goodness! I made contact. And Pret takes game two. This what is the power of the Egypt. Yeah, right here. I don't think Devin realized just how far. Pyra's forward smash reaches. An unfortunate SD, though he was probably going to die shortly after anyway. What happened here? He was at 56. Oh my god, he just respawned in forward smash. I was looking away when that happened. Oof. Yeah, right here, Devin does a double jump past ledge and gets clipped. That's just how it goes sometimes. You gotta watch your double jump. Because, I think most people know this, but it kind of goes understated. Unlike up B recoveries in this game, double jumps don't snap to ledge. So if you're going to just double jump to the ledge, you need to be careful about how you're spacing yourself. You don't want to accidentally peek yourself above the ledge if you think the opponent's going to just throw something out at you. Pokemon Trainer. The final game. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if Devin can make the proper adjustments for this game. And very dangerous there. Devin could have been eating another forward smash. And not a game situation. Fred still got his double jump. All right, they're both going to be leaning on their uh, their neutral busters, Squirtle and and uh, Mithra. No switch, no switch. There it is. And narrowly avoids that forward smash this time. And doesn't get hit by the promise revolt. No punish though. Uh-oh, down air, up air, no connect. The back air, Devin DI'd it. And then falls right into prom Blaze again and takes the uh, back air to the face. Very strong start for Pred. Devin will need to keep his composure here. He doesn't want to take another early stock, that's for sure. Let's end the roll. No match for, no match for that update. You can see Pred is playing to push his lead right now. Being a little more... Good, great tech. Being a little more aggressive than uh, we were seeing in the first two games, but hey... If that aggression works out, and Nair hates out Nair Dodge. We gotta hate that about multi-hits. Oops, I fell out. Oops, I buffered her Nair Dodge, trying to check. Alright, 
Let's see what Devin does to avoid the kills. The magnificent firepower of Pyra. And is not getting hit by these blazing ends. Down air. No follow-up. But gets hit by it. Devin's trying to swing his way down, but that range is insane sometimes. Playing for a trade with Pyra can be so dangerous. What will happen? Devin hasn't been locked yet, but he needs to find a way through this neutral. That side special is relatively safe on block. Some characters can punish it out of shield, but... Oh, that's a... Mithra's air drift after Photon Edge is really bad. I think Devin might have been able to try to stop an up smash there. But he didn't believe in it. There's the down air. Not spiking, I'm surprised. And... We'll try to throw out a smash. We'll throw out a sword. Blazing ends. And there's the blaze again. Won't be a kill yet, but... Devin is in critical condition right now. Got to be very careful with the spacing. Devin retreating off the stage, looking like we could train her right now. Let's attack. All right, there it is. And Pratt takes it 2-1. Excellent showing from both players, though. To be sure. Poof. Let's have a look at some kills. It was a good play from both, but unfortunately Devin just wasn't able to find his way through uh, that insane neutral of Mithra. Pokemon Trainer can be known to struggle with disjoints at times, especially characters who are fast and have disjoints. It's just their matchup weakness. That was a good wait for the uh, ledge roll. Okay. Um... <laughs> Let's do that. It's me. Anyway, the next matchup will be Chemex versus Ski. We'll see how that goes. But for now, good job to both Devin and Pret. Excellent showing from both of you.